middle of the road, going 100 miles per hour. Here it is. What the fuck? What are you doing here? What, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, 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 oh shit! <laughs> If you have ever dreamt about what heaven would look like at night, it would be Las Vegas. This is the only city that has been a part of every rally since its inception, and for a good reason. Rusher celebrated Sin City at Omnia, one of the newest and hottest nightclubs in the world. We went last year to Park City and we had a blast. Loved the atmosphere, loved everybody, so we thought as soon as we found out we, couldn't, we weren't coming to Utah, we were just planning our trip. We are going to Vegas. <laughs> So we got here, um, just when they sh started showing up, we met Jason. He started uh, telling us about what you guys are doing, and we got up here and just been loving it. Day two, Gold Rush Rally 7. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, we got an exciting drive for you, eh? All right, guys, our first stop this morning, we are going to be headed over to Hoover Dam. We have to, we have 30 minutes over there. We're going to be parking at parking lot 13. We do have 30 minutes over there to take pictures. So please make sure we leave here in an orderly fashion. And once again, when we're going down there, do not speed and please obey the law. Organized. I need organization skills. These needs to be folded in the right way. It needs to be. You I, are the one who no. fucked it up. This is the one I was fucking I need organization, up. okay? This needs. I need to, my area to be clean. Hey. Lock it all accessible. Why do you think we brought no. him? No, this is not okay. Hey, okay. Have him do it. A good, a good co pilot needs to get this organized and know what to do. So sorry. Alright. Alright? Water in the right there place. You there you go. I can't. I swear there. to God, it's so hard to work with this. This is Shit. ridiculous. Fuck. Give me a warning before the exit. I did, I told you over there. Oh, man. You're just worried about the brakes. Yeah, tell me before. Say, hey, in about 300 feet, 500 feet, exit two. Alright, alright, alright. 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 Ramin is adding extra downforce to his car by using gas and uh, uh, to make it more aerodynamic. Driving some of the most amazing roads lead the gold rushers to the city of Sedona with a landscape that looked out of this world. The Gold Rush Rally team chose Enchantment Resort, located amongst some of the most beautiful scenery known to man. An outdoor fireside dinner, sponsored by Bugatti North America, 
was the highlight of the night, allowing participants to share their stories under the stars. This is so, such a beautiful night. We're here in Sedona, Arizona. Sedona, Arizona is full of rocks, you know, like rock stone formations. We're here because we love, we love to drive, we love to experience America. You're gonna rest. I know you guys partied hard last night. You're gonna rest tonight because tomorrow, we're all gonna wake up early. It's, we have to be wheels up at 7.30 a.m. Wheels up at 7.30 a.m. We have a long journey tomorrow. We're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go drag racing. We're gonna see who's the best out of you daring individuals. Woo! Don't worry, we're leaving. Oh, <laughs> no, no, you gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> so to kick it off, please enjoy yourselves. Let's have dinner. All right. So she's telling me that sh that there's some noise, and you know how she does it. She says I, I hear noise in the car, noise in the car. So uh, the only noise I really heard was her talk. <laughs> and uh, turns out there was a noise in the car. The the car dies in the middle of the desert, and we're there for five hours waiting for a tow. And uh, we call George, JP Logistics, right? And uh, George tells us. Don't go to Vegas, go back from where we came from. So that means go back to California. How far am we? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if it took five hours to get a tow truck to us, we were pretty close to Vegas. So we went all the way back to California with a tow truck. But the funny thing is the tow truck, they sent the wrong type of tow truck. Then they went to another tow truck. They couldn't get the car in the tow truck. It was, uh, it was interesting. I had to pull the grill out of the car myself and put the tow hook on it. And uh, all dressed in my Gold Rush rally <laughs> with uh, Giuseppe Zanotti slippers, all gold in the desert on the side of the road. At midnight, I called Lamborghini uh, in Italy and some stateside people. And they said, um, put them on the phone, put the text on the phone, and they said, whatever it takes, we're gonna get this guy going. Because they, I said to them, I said, the rally is not just a regular rally. This is everything that I plan for the entire year. It's my only vacation. It's the only fun I have. It, this rally is everything to us. And you can't, it's the first day. <laughs> so they, they realized how important it was. They kept an entire dealership open until 6 a.m. I think the coolest thing was at about three and four in the morning, I started calling my friends saying, guess where I am? Well, getting my Lambo fixed in, you know, in California. No, it's four in the morning. Yeah, I know, isn't that cool? Anyone can take a car and say, it'll be done in three days. But when you're on rally mode, people don't realize what that you do. I mean, you're focused, one thing and one thing on the next destination, right? And that's it. And the rally goes on without you. So uh, you do what it takes to, and in the end, when something like this happens, it's it made the entire rally better because yeah, I feel like I earned it. <laughs> I haven't slept in two days. <laughs> I went back to California twice. I came back, the car is fixed, yeah. and I'm back in the rally. And when we first saw, there's no way to describe it. Which car did we see first? Do you remember? Red Corvette. Red Corvette. Yeah. We see a red Corvette and it says Gold Rush Rally on the side of it. No way to describe it. In fact, I'm getting goosebumps on that. The, the way you feel. I hadn't, she actually said, we haven't seen someone in Gold Rush in two days. And we felt like we were part of it again.